Um, let's go ahead and get started and get into it. Um, this week, uh, thimbles shaped and finished, barrel tenons installed, front thimble, front thimble installed, and then stock pin installed. Uh, the pins that hold that barrel to the tenons into place is what it's talking about with stock pins. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get things set up. I'm going to show you what I have going here first. Um, this is still, when I did my initial inventory, I broke things down and put them in packages. So you see my thimble here along with uh, some of the other pinning, uh, the, the pins and the screws that go with that. Um, I have my barrel tenons that are inside of here as well. So uh, we have all of that stuff and obviously uh, uh, the rest of the components that we need. Um, you'll see my tools as I utilize them. Um, so we'll, I'll bring those out as part of the video itself. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is get this, uh, this brass prepped up. Um, it's pretty darn close. I could almost get this into place. Um, I'm just going to uh, uh, file down any rough edges that are on here. There's only a couple. Um, it should uh, fall into place pretty easily then. So, uh, I've just got a single um, single cross file here. Just going to go through and knock some of these rough edges off just real quick. It won't take me but a second. So I've taken, uh, just checking the size of the screw, uh, looks like 3.7, um, I've tried a couple different variants, 3.7, 3.73 is about what I'm getting. So I need to try to find a bit that's just slightly smaller or not larger than that. And the closest one that I can find is a 9 64ths, or I'm sorry, yeah, 9 64ths. Um, it's coming out to be just about right. So um, it's a little bit small, but I think we'll be okay. All right, so I've um, marked the side of the stock. I've transferred over some lines to the inside, and then I found the center point, and then went ahead and um, uh, set the center point. So I put a line. I went ahead and uh, took my drill, my punch, and went already and punched it. So it's ready to start drilling at this point. So we're start doing that. I was worried that there wasn't enough wood taken out and that the screw wasn't in, but I can definitely tell the screw is in there because um, I put a dowel rod in, trying to yank it open, trying to uh, break it open a little bit, and it won't go. Um, and it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be able to tighten like that if I didn't, because that's tight, if it wasn't in to the uh, brass. So that looks good. All right. Moving on to the next. All right, so we got the uh, front um, thimble in place. I what I did is I uh, made sure I wasn't going to have that the barrel tenon wasn't going to be in the way. That's what this mark is right here. Um, I put the barrel into place, marked the center of the barrel tenon, make sure I wasn't going to have interference with the thimble. Um, and then you can see my lines here. I transferred them up over the top, and I found the center mass, um, and then punched it. Uh, here it's already been punched everything's been set so I'm going to go through and start the drilling procedure at this point um, what we can do is we can put some tape underneath to make sure we can get from some splitting so I'll do that before I drop this through it'll be covered up by the thimble anyway but there's no point in damaging uh, any wood in the first place so I'll just put some tape there and then push this through Thank you. 
Having some, I was having some issue with some uh, barrel fitting. Um, it, it wasn't seating back all the uh, barrel wasn't seating back all the way in to the stock. There was a, a gap behind the um, the tail uh, tail stock. There was a, a, a small little gap there. So I was just curious. I put some inletting uh, compound on that rear side because I can grab a hold of the barrel all the way down, and it seemed tight all the way through. But there was some creaking. Um, uh, up towards the receipt, up towards the um, uh, the lock end. So I put some inletting compound and take a look what we got. I'm going to have to do um, a little bit of work here. Uh, the, the the instructions um, said it didn't need to, but back here on the back end, um, it wasn't seating all the way in properly. So this mechanism here, it was actually sitting. You can see where it's touching, where some of the inlet's touching. Um, so it wasn't free floating back here on this back end. Um, you can see that it was riding way forward. So after I pulled, after I put the black on and pulled it out, you can see I'm gonna have to do some work in here. Um, this back end here, it's a little high. And then this uh, very lipped edge. Um, everything else seems to be decent. It's It was a little tight fit, it kind of, uh, it was kind of tight, but it slid in decently, so I don't know if I'll do any work in here. But I will definitely do some uh, in these, these areas, which will allow that barrel to fall back a little bit more. Um, I wasn't expecting to have to do this, because uh, the instructions said that there's no need for it, but there's an obvious uh, need. If I didn't do it, um, fitting would not be good. So. so this is what I was talking about here. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but there is a um, decent sized gap in the back end. Um, and you can see here how this is very, um, it's touching this front lip here. It's resting on the front lip so that when, you can see that it's, it's getting held up too high back here uh, in the back. So when I put these tenons in, if this isn't fixed, it's going to create some issues, um, some binding in this stock. Got it. Uh, we got it closed up. Um, you can see how much far uh, back this thing fits. It fits in the right spot now. Um, it's completely um, in the right area. Uh, the the fit is a lot better. It used to make some serious. You could tell there was some serious rocking in it because the back side of this needed to be um, inlet a little bit more. So uh, at this point, we're going to go ahead and mark it and get it set up. Okay, I've gone through. I've taped this barrel in a place. Um, I've taken and marked the edge of the barrel in relationship to the stock. I'm going to pull the barrel out now and rotate the barrel into place so I can start getting these tenons dropped in. Mark these tenons out. All right, so we flipped the barrel over. We're on the bottom side. Um, I've gone and I've uh, check these uh, tenons to see um, how they're looking. They both need to have some work done on them. Um, I've oriented this barrel uh, like it suggests, moving from right to left. Um, and then I've marked the smallest side of this to start with that side. I'm going to do a figure eight pattern here on a piece of sandpaper with some 150 grit. All right, I think I've got it where I want to. Um, I'm, I'm gonna cold blue this real quick. I'm gonna wipe some acetone on it, clean it off, uh, clean off all this 
uh, whatever else is on here, any of the metal shavings. I'm going to clean it really good with some acetone. And then I'm going to cold blue it. Dip this in here once. Don't contaminate it. I'm just going to double check these tenon marks that I have in here, make sure they're accurate. Yeah, that one's on it. I'm measuring down with the caliper. Holding the caliper right on the edge and then coming right to the center of that tenon. this tape off. See how these pins are holding in here. Okay, that one's holding in there. Everything seems to be tight. Not having any issues. So I think we're good. Yeah, it's ready.